This Bible is only for us. So we gotta realize the importance and the significance of that, right? This this is a, 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 a rare thing. You, as a people, as an individual, you're a rare thing, you're a special thing. Not everybody is chosen by God, so we gotta, we gotta take that thing serious, right? So we have the opportunity to, to be out here breaking God's commandments, right? But we, we must come back to this book, because Christ is coming back when? Soon. Right? Do we want to be caught on the wrong side of Christ when he comes back? Heck no. Right? It's going to be an ugly day for the majority of people. Right? We got to make sure that's not the case with us. Go ahead, read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Uh -huh. He showeth his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. He ain't dealt so with any other nation. You understand that, brother? Give me your uh, boldness. Uh, Leviticus uh, 19. You understand that, brother? Do you understand we have to uh, keep the laws as a people? Yes, sir. What's up? Okay. I understand about the people. You understand you about said, the people? But you said the Bible was only written to the to, to uh, God's people. That's that's what we just read. Okay. So, are you, so are you saying if you're white, it, it's not for you? We're, we're saying not only white, but white is a color. What we're saying, if your nationality is not Israelite, according to the Bible, that's what the Bible says that the, the, the scriptures aren't for you. That wasn't the question I asked you. I asked you, if you were white, that means that the Bible is not for you? What is the color? Okay. You mean Caucasian? Well, Caucasian. So, so I'm trying first, to get some clarity of who the Bible for, according to what you are saying, because the Bible is for give me, everybody. Uh, give me Esau. Esau in the Bible. All right, so one thing, I, I understand your question. Are you, you're, so you're saying, uh, are you asking um, if, if, if white people are able to get the kingdom? Is, is that your end result? Well, not just Caucasian, but any nationality. Right, any nationality. The Bible right? for anybody, everybody. Now, that's what we've been taught, but is that what God says? The Bible is for everybody. Go, go, go back to uh, some. Go back to some. Real quick, we're going to come, come back to it. Everybody can be born again, no matter what your nationality All right, so, so we're going to read you a, a scripture, all right? And I want you to break this down to me and tell me what it means, all right? All right. Psalms 147, verse 19. Go ahead, read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. What does that part mean? He showeth his word, meaning the scriptures, to who? To Jacob. What does that mean? To me, it, I'm just simply saying that it's, it's the same thing I'm saying. You know, he showed it to Jacob. That's just one scripture. So what you're doing, actuality, you're just giving me a text. But not I'm actually asking looking you to at explain the, context. the scripture. But what That's the, all I'm doing. I can't really tell you what the scripture is saying while actually reading the context. You're only giving me the All right, text. so we're going to get but some more context. Go ahead, context. read. What, what about this part right here? He showed it. And his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh -huh. okay. He have not dealt so with any nation. What's that part right. mean? Uh, understand it. What does you that part mean? Hold on. What does that part mean? I'm trying to tell you now. Yes, understand it. But what you have to understand is that that was in that era. We're, we're asking you, okay. sir, what does but it mean? You're, you're saying yes, he's showing it to that, Israel. that's talking about he, back in the day. We're asking you, what does that mean? Just what you said, yes. Um, Israelites. Okay, he's talking about So that's to talking them. about the Israelites. So you right. agree? I agree. But... That was in that era. We have another era now. Yeah, oh, we're in a different era. Because now we're okay. under grace. So, yeah, so, so we're now we're not under the Romans era now. You got that? Back then. Romans 9. So, so God loves everybody now, is what you're saying. He loved everybody from the beginning when he created man. Okay. So God see, he loved love. all people. There's not one people that he hated. And we, we can't read that out the scriptures, right? That's what you're saying. He loved, God is love. Let's let the Bible talk. Let's, let's see what God, God says about who he loves and who he hates. Go ahead, read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. So God loves Jacob and his, his people, the Israelites, read on. But Esau have I hated. Have I what? Have I hated. Esau, the so-called white man, the Caucasian race, he said he hates. What? Right? So you, you said, this this is Romans. Why he hated that's, him? That's a book what in does, the New Testament. What does hate mean in the Romans Hebrew? Romans is a book but what does in hate the New mean Testament. In the Hebrew though, what does hate mean? You're saying hate. What is the meaning of hate in Hebrew? It could not mean so, so, hate like, so, I don't let, like Let's you. get what love is. What let's is hate, what hate in the Hebrew? Let's, let's get about. what love is. Good question. What is hate then? Right? Because there's different definitions of the word hate. Exactly. 
right? So the contrast is of hate is what? It's love. It's love. So what is love according to the Bible? Love is, I guess, a, a great affection. A great affection? Right. Is that what the Bible says? It is it, not what it says. We're going to give you what the scripture calls love, and then we're going to get the contrast of that love and explain to you what hate is, all right? The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. You hear that? So this is what love is according to God, not according to us, not according to man, according to God. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. So this is what love is according to God. Us, the Israelites, keeping God's commandments. Do you agree with that? Okay, yes. Do you agree? So yes. yes. I agree. But can't anybody keep his commandments? The, the commandments was not given to everyone. We just got that. Not brother. back in that era. We just got that no, for you. Right, but not in that Nothing era. Nothing has changed, brother. Yes, Give me your Malachi changed. 3. Three. Was that 3 and 6? So let, let's let's get what God says about that. Because you're saying things have changed now. No, I'm not things have changed now, right? Yes, things have changed. Go ahead, read. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For I am the Lord. I am the Lord. This is God speaking, right? Read on. I change not. I do what? I change not. You, you hear that? God says he don't change. Right. Right? So if from the beginning he chose to love a specific people, guess what? In the end, that same people is who he loves. See? That same people is who he hates, who he hated from the beginning. Now give me uh, Isaiah. So is God a God of love or is God love? Hey, look. So you said that we got to get the Hebrew for what? What hate means, right? Right. In that, okay. In that scripture. In that scripture, Romans 9, 13, when you go into the Strong's Concordance to get the word hate, when it says that he hates Esau, the definition of hate means to detest. So that's how God feels about Esau. The Bible and the Hebrew and the Greek says that he detests, Is that the only definition? he hates Esau. All right? And I'm going to give you more. All right? So to, to define detest, it says to feel intense and often violent antipathy toward, to curse, to denounce. That's how God feels about Esau. So couldn't it be curse? So, so you hey, understand that? Now, let's, let's, get, let's get more on how the Lord feels about the, the other nations. Give me that Isaiah chapter 14. Was that 14 and 40? I mean, God would be contradicting himself if he's, if he's, not, if he's not a God of love. But is love, which one is it? Because God is love. He cannot hate hold, you. Hold on, no, hold he on, cannot brother. love you. You have no to more. understand what love is, right? Because you got to understand that we all, everybody here in America, we all been taught contrary to God, contrary to this Bible. That's right. We have our own definition of love. But guess what? God has a higher standard and a higher definition of things that we call love, right? He has a higher way of, of being. Right, so his love is not our love. So all other this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 14. Uh -huh. With whom he took, with whom took he counsel, uh -huh. and who instructed him? So let me ask you that question. Who instructed God? Nobody. Nobody, right? Good. That's the correct answer. Read on. And taught him in the path of judgment. Who taught God judgment? No one. Correct answer. Read on. And taught him knowledge. Uh -huh. And showed to him the way of understanding. Read on. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. The other nations are as a what? As a drop of a bucket. So a drop from a bucket, right? A bucket. Just, just picture a bucket, right? You're carrying some water in that bucket. Let's say you're, you're carrying it from one location to another. And one drop falls out of that bucket. Are you gonna trip? You gonna trip on that on that uh that one drop? I'm not. Are you gonna care about it at all? But that one drop could be. A Hold on. Are you gonna care about that one drop? Just like he. Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Tell you why? Come because on, bro. Read, read it again. Okay. Read it again, bro. Come on. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Let, let me ask my sister. If, see if she gonna be a bit more genuine. Sis, if you are carrying a bucket of water and just one single drop falls out of that bucket. Are you going to care about that one drop? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And that's the case with you too. No, bro, we, we, 
You, wanna you ain't playing no nobody up here, bro. Talking, don't listen, bro. That's the problem, right? Go, go ahead, read it again. Read it again. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. This is how God views the other nations. Read off. And are counted as the small dust of a belly. Uh -huh. Behold, he taken up the aisle as a very little thing. So, so the, the other nations, they mean everything to you. We're going to get how God feels about them. They mean everything to you. Read. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, uh -huh. nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Read on. Verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. Are as what? Are as nothing. All the other nations are as nothing according to the Bible. All right? That's according to the scriptures. Right? A sinful man is grievous to correction. All right? You are a sinful man, and you don't want to take correction. Nation is men leading by example.